morning. Good welcome. Hello, everybody. Sim City 4 tonight. We're going to play for 30, 40 minutes or so. We'll see. But big stuff is happening. We're making a four city mega city. It's We got started last time. It takes a while just because getting getting the population going from base level just takes time. Right? So come on down to Gainesville. Man, we're off at 3 million. Pretty good, pretty good. I, I'm tempted to make this city right here. So the coast here that we're going to eventually fill in, and then this is going to be a transition between here and, and these mountains in this big city. I kind of want a big like gap between the cities, so I'm not sure what to make. Eh, whatever. Also, I should scroll down to see my chat, but I can't. So let's just keep making this city. This chair is so freaking loud. See, all of you need to subscribe and uh, give me money so I can buy a chair that's not so noisy. That's reasonable, right? Yeah. And if you give me enough money, I'll just <laughs> make this a full-time job and you can have all the SimCity 4 and City of Skylines content that you could ever dream of. So, you need a prison, blah, blah, blah. Hmm, just a prison. So I'm thinking we should have, man, my webcam is super stuttery. Look at that. It's garbage. So let's throw a jail in, and then we will figure out our life from there. So I want to have a barrier between this and industry. So how can I do it without wasting a lot of space? Right? I don't know how to do it. But in the meantime, let's keep on building. I think we need more parks. Yeah. Let's fill in all of our empty spaces with some open grass areas. I like the open grass areas because they count as parks and I can put the trees on it. Blah, 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 solar power. So we're getting a little bit of money in here. We have a couple of good high rises coming in. Uh, no. Let's fill all this crap in. There we go. See, they like it. They pretty much respond to any of the crappy freaking parks we, I throw in here. So I'll take it. Do, 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 do. a lot of poor people that's okay I'll take a high population over no population a high a high poor population the zoo fits perfectly right there boom so that's a dead end I think I should make this a big park the big high school do we have a high school in here no we only have a large elementary school somewhere. Where is it? It's somewhere in here. Anyways, we need a high school. So I'm thinking let's make a big e like almost an event out of this thing, right? So we need the high school, we need the minor league stadium, and then we need like a perimeter road and a bunch of parks. I think I'll fill in this whole little triangle right here with it. So Coming here to our large high school, we throw that in right there. Take our road tool. Let's see how big this minor league stadium is. It should fit next to it pretty smoothly. Did I build it already? No, I didn't. There it is. Look at that. Perfect. So now the problem is something something yeah you have to be very very careful with terrain elevation stuff terrain modification stuff in SimCity 4 because if you change the elevation by a freaking inch it will destroy everything 
that's not on that inch. Like that. See? You just threw like 20 grand in the trash. So. 17 grand. All right. Big fancy high school, big fancy stadium. Let's throw in a couple soccer fields. Not the one the major league stadium now in the stock market. All right. Slowly get that money, right? So I'm thinking maybe we'll to put two. No, we'll put the soccer field here. We'll put baseball fields on the other side. All right. One there and then one there. One there. Look at that. Freaking amazing. Okay. Come in. We'll put in a nice little roundabout. All right. Just come over here. Out that way. What else can we put in? Some tennis courts. Like a whole freaking sports complex out here. That's nice. Good stuff. And the rest of it will just be small green parks. That is beautiful. B E A beautiful. Um, a little bit of room here. Put a playground for the kiddos, right? Boom! Look at that. Awesome. See, I do put some detail in my cities, right? I need to pull up chat. That's what I forgot to do. I was doing it, but then my, my brain just went. Uh, what chat? What's that? I don't know what that is. Come on, phone. You're on Wi Fi. It doesn't get faster than that. So I'm looking into a competitive game to play. League is a no. Um. Maybe Overwatch, but Overwatch is heading downhill very fast. Uh, but I do love first-person shooters, and all the Battlefield games are garbage. No, not Call of Duty. I can't get back to Call of Duty, man. I gave that life up a long time ago. I don't know. I want something competitive. You know, something to get my my blood go and get me excited about playing exciting games. True. Those games are flooded with streamers. I don't know, I just want to play like a high energy game with friends, which pretty much means competitive. Like Monster Hunter is pretty high energy, right? So all you freaking posers, just stop playing. I know it's you. What is auto chess? I see it. I'm like, nothing sounds more boring than watching chess. I think we need water out here. Is that what it is? It is. All right, let's zoom out. Riveting gameplay. Number one SimCity 4 streamer in the world, AJ. Do you understand? Arch tempered Zora Magdaros. That sounds really boring. Like, Zora Magdaros is really, really boring. I feel how they designed Zora Magdaros is like, we're going to make the biggest monster in Monster Hunter ever. And they kept like adding on stuff to it. So eventually it became this awful boss fight. It's like a wall boss, but even worse. I'm more pumped for the freaking Final Fantasy XIV stuff. That stuff sounds great. See, maybe when Classic WoW comes out, I will get into Classic WoW PvP. Because, I mean, that's literally what I did circa 2006? Earlier? I don't know. Burning Crusade kind of time frame. That's what I did. PvP, my friend. Not not Battlegrounds. Battlegrounds, you know, not uh, Arena. Arena's garbage. There. P 
pipes for everybody. Never even seen SimCity 4? Well, this is it, my friend. The best city building game of all time to this day. They call City of Skylines a city building game, but you don't really make cities, you make towns in it. Large towns. Here, we're making freaking doing China stuff, right? Like how China's building cities the size of Los Angeles, like in the middle of the desert. Oh, look at that graphic mess up. What's going on? Oh, there it is. Ban -na 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 -na. Part of me wishes I actually enjoyed to play enjoyed playing League of Legends. Like genuinely because so many people love it and and hate it but just, they just play it so much it's like man i wish i could enjoy it as much as you did but every time i played it it's just like this is boring are you saying i have government spies in my chat it's possible After watching Alex Jones on the, uh... yeah, but you have to play the game for like days to get good at it, and then also fully understand it. And it's like, oh, let me just throw away days of my life for a game that I may not even enjoy. Yeah, I heard Dota is harder in every way, but I don't know. That's so why I want to think. So I think Overwatch, because I enjoy shooting stuff, and it's competitive shooter. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I got a statue. It's freaking huge. Freaking fifty foot tall statue of me. Apex. I get. I played Apex once. And I just. It just felt bad. I don't know. Overwatch is dead. That's the problem with it. We need another competitive shooter. That's fun. Overwatch was fun for like the first month. And then they ruined it. Every game that becomes eSports on purpose is garbage. Every single one of them. When will developers understand that? Like look at StarCraft 2. Look at Overwatch. Look at any game made by like a small company. Like they try to make Planet Side 2 an eSport. That failed. I know Apex Legends is big, but it I don't like it. It has to be a competitive shooter that I enjoy playing. I mean, okay, Fortnite was designed for esports, I think. Like, games just happen to turn to esports. Like, Halo 1, and Halo 2, and Halo 3. They didn't really cater those games to become major esports things, right? They just, especially Halo 1, it just became one because everybody played it. All team games and all RTSs? Well, there are no more RTSs. RTS is dead. It got killed when Blizzard tried to make StarCraft 2 and it freaking died because they made it to be an esport, so they didn't innovate at all. They did zero innovation. BR, Battle Royale. So you say it's anti esports, except it's an esport. It's the number one. Fortnite is the number one esport in the world right now. Look it up. 
12 year olds all over the world are playing that game on stages to win money I don't know. The Blizzard is really screwed. Because they spent so much money making all those like arenas and crap. And paying like, what, over $100 million to build arenas and teams and stuff. And it's dying. Why am I... Do I want to put... Nah, I'll put it there. Whatever. StarCraft 2 was not incredibly successful. StarCraft 1 was bigger in every way compared to StarCraft 2, and StarCraft 2 was eclipsed by a league. Almost. StarCraft 1 is still a more competitive game than StarCraft 2. If you go to Korea, all of them are playing StarCraft 1. All of them. It's still fully alive RTS esports thing there. StarCraft 2, dead. That's, you're wrong, AJ. You are so wrong. Why do you think Blizzard released StarCraft 1 Remastered? They didn't they didn't do that because like, oh, we should remaster StarCraft 1. That'd be nice. No, they want to make money. They realized StarCraft 2 was dead. There's completely no support for StarCraft 2 because it's dead. StarCraft 1 is still going. That would... Ooh, I could play StarCraft 1. No, I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. Those, those Koreans have been playing that game for 20 freaking years. StarCraft 2, so Warcraft 3 is making a really big comeback, and they are making that remastered for Warcraft 3, which makes me think, which really just means that original Dota is going to come back. Not freaking Dota 2 on Steam, Dota in Warcraft 3. Ah, I do love Warcraft 3. I wonder if they're still playing the same games in Warcraft 3. I played the crap out of, like, Jurassic Park Survival and a bunch of tower defense games and all that stuff. Man, that was so good. Good stuff. Cat, get out of here. It would just be called something else. Balloons. Tower defense knockoff garbage for children. That's what balloons is. Parks, 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 parks. I don't know. I'm able to just play freaking. No, wait. There are no good shooter games anymore. They're all dead. Shooters are dead. Name a better tower defense. Any tower defense game in Warcraft 3. Original Warcraft 3. Let's see what's there. Especially the tower defense games where you play as a hero that also puts up towers. Like combine MOBAs and tower defense for the ultimate tower defense experience. That far exceeds balloons. Balloons is a freaking MOBA game you just tap on your phone. Get that crap out of here. That's garbage. Dumb crap for eight year olds. Sanctum was garbage because it just first person doesn't work for tower defense. You have to see what's going on. I'm talking I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna link it to you. The tower defense game where you play pretty much as the heroes of Warcraft 3, but you have two two sides of the map, each on a different team, and you send mobs at each other, or different waves come at you, and you build out your towers. And you can buy units to send other people. You can uh, gear up. You can. Those are way better than balloons. Balloons is stale. 
garbage. It's the same thing over and over again. It's nothing. It's nothing. Loons is the Newgrounds flash game knockoff of any real turret defense game. RuneScape. Oh, I miss RuneScape. If I had the time, I would totally make an old school RuneScape. Though they'd still have that grand exchange thing, so I don't know. I don't know about that. Those are good times. Really good times. I played RuneScape until the day World of Warcraft came out. I don't understand why RuneScape is a big streaming game. Is it just like a nostalgia thing? I'm just too old and curmudgeon to understand it. Back in my day, we played RuneScape instead of watching it. But what is there to watch? Just people playing it? Or like, is there a competitive scene? Is there a something? True. That's what made Fortnite big, and that's what made League big, is accessibility. Yeah. The spotlights. Okay. Yeah, I mean, to get anywhere in RuneScape, you have to do everything. Let's see here. Is this not high density? They're just poor. They're just poor. Okay. Let's build another elementary school. No? Yeah, close enough. 2,800 hours. Those are... That's a lot. Almost as much as I had on my main in WoW back in the day. You have everything at level 99? Is that a thing? I just want to put some houses on this beach game. But are there people that have done it though, where everything's at 99? And they're just like a golden god walking around? Can I recover my old RuneScape account and use it to play original RuneScape, or does it have to be a brand new, clean account? Because if I can resurrect my old account, that would be freaking a nostalgia trip like crazy. I 
want with those nice houses. Those are really nice. Okay. Let's go with... Maybe I could use solar power plants to be a buffer between nice things and not nice things. It doesn't really block pollution, but it makes a gap, right? Just like right here, boom, solid. I should have built that one tile over. Son of a gun, two tiles over. Look at that Texas Roadhouse, get out of here. Boo. I wonder how the developers of RuneScape feel when their old school game is far more popular than their new one. Like, what does that feel like? Complete failure? Trash, 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 trash. I think we should make a trash incinerator. Hey, we're making money again. We're doing good. Yeah, but does like the the new RuneScape team feel crummy because everybody hates it so much so that their old game's better? I mean, so that's, that's how Classic WoW is going to be. Classic WoW is going to pass up New WoW in a heartbeat. And all the New WoW devs are going to feel like chumps. Set this thing up right freaking here. There's a difference between improvements and changing the game. Developers have a have a tendency to take something from an improvement to change in the game. It's a very hard line to walk. I mean, WoW was on the good side of that line until Cataclysm. Because they went from quality of life improvements to making the game easier, right? So they went from, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll help, we'll make things nicer for people into Oh, we're gonna make it to where you can just spawn into a dungeon at any time from any place. And then they made leveling easier and then they made it easier and easier. Until you don't even have to play the game, it's gonna sit there. Don't need guilds, don't need friends. So the leveling experience in New WoW is very sleek and nice and shiny. And has actual story. Like there was a good balance in WoW where once you had a max level character you could get honor gear which would basically boost your leveling speed with your alternate characters and that was a good balance because then you know you've experienced leveling up and then you can just kind of boom get your alts up it's fine but then it kept going to where you just sprint through the zones you don't experience any of the zones at all you don't experience content at all you just kind of might as well just be on like a little like Disney ride where you just like watch story events happen like oh look at that thing yeah look at that thing and that's it you're max level you did it you know nothing about how to play the game and you might as well just buy your account to max level which you can do anyways yeah Parks, 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 parks. Five viewers now. Wow. Gee, Willikers, Batman. Ooh, I have an emote slot. I don't know what to do with it. 
Like, I genuinely don't know what to make my emote, because, I don't know. I feel like I don't stream enough, but I have the slot, so I should use it. They're a bunch of creepers. They just want some beautiful city building happening going on. Look at that, 237,000 people. I've just been talking about stupid games, and I've been making a beautiful city. I haven't even noticed. Oh, my dog that doesn't exist. I blinked that thing right out of existence. If I do have a cat, that would be really weird to put my kids up on. That'd be really freaking weird. I can get my cat's face. There's like a generic black cat's face. It needs to be a good emote so I can be like, look people, if you subscribe to me, you can use my sweet emote. Getting there. We got a couple of skyscrapers going on. A lot of freaking lot of poor people. Holy crap! Look at them all. Disgusting. All right. So right here, we're gonna put a. I need a creative person to tell me what to do, because I don't know. Ah. So let me build that. Yeah. Dang it. I need good emotes, AJ. Come on, crank them out. Because one day in the far distant future, I could possibly even have a partnership where I get more emote slots. Become part of that Twitch Illuminati. So my gun. That was almost the perfect 45 degree angle. Yeah. Where was it? There. Should I build this across? I can't. It's a giant landfill in the way. Oops. It's okay. Get rid of these alleyways. I don't need that crap. I mean, I will be playing a lot of Satisfactory when that comes out, which is actually really soon. Crap. I need money. I'm at like a conundrum, AJ. I'm about to get some money, like 60 bucks. I need to spend, I need to get, I need three things I want. I want a gym membership, just 30 bucks. A pre-workout, which is like 30 bucks. And also satisfactory, which is 30 bucks. But I only have 60. What the heck? Why does life have to play me like this? What's wrong? What did I do to deserve this existence? Nope. 
Boop, boo. Giant freaking city. That's annoying. Get out of here. I do need pre workout AJ. Because I want to replace energy drinks with it. Think about this. Imagine instead of buying a NOS or whatever, you just take scoop pre workout, scoop a bull knocks, knock that back, boom, you're good for the rest of the day. That would be great. So, you are right though, because you don't need pre workout. But I do need a gym membership. It's the same, AJ. If anything, it's way more effective. It's zero calories. Uh, so much energy that you're sweating profusely for the rest of the day. And uh, mental focus like a meth addict. So, yeah, think about that. And it's way cheaper. Think about it. It's like 20, I think 26 bucks for a thing of Bullnox. That's 35 servings. Let's say you take half scoop servings for your energy drink. That's 70 servings, 70 drinks for 26 bucks. Now, if I do any fasting, I'll usually skip breakfast and lunch, which would be, that would be a 24 hour fast, I guess. But those are, yeah, that's not that bad. Like if I feel like getting freaking shredded, I'll totally do that. If my job didn't take up my entire day, I would work out all the time. And that'd be beautiful. This airport is a piece of garbage. Look at it. Maxed out. See, that's where I disagree with the snake diet guy. He's like, no pre-workout, no artificial anything. Super, like, all-natural kind of dude. I'm like, man, fucking get pumped up on pre-workout. You'll get destroyed and then don't eat for like three days. You'll be so freaking muscular. you also die. But, man, be ripped. There. Boom. Freaking ghetto over here. Look at this crap. Burning down. Both buildings. Same time. I can say get it right on stream. Twitch won't ban me. We're getting there. 261,000. That's pretty good. It's dirty ass pollution over here. It's disgusting. Hmm. Should I go ahead and make a harbor? Yeah, probably. Let's do it. Get my sweet harbor tiles out. Where is it? Nope, that's not it. I need to make a smooth coastline. Hey, Jay, you gonna get satisfactory and play with me? Hey, nuclear power, sweet. Nuclear barge pier. Okay, we need to make pier end. Is that a hard addiction to kick, AJ? Were you Jones and for more jewel? A lot of those hip kids. There we go. Do that. 
and we'll do a barge. Boom. That's it. Bam. There we go. We'll bring our avenue in. We did it. That ain't cheap. 0.7 mils. You just buy like a, buy it by the gallon on eBay or something. Some like Chinese freaking vape. <laughs> there, we need to do a two by section right next to it. Where is it? Get out of here. Bam. See, that's economy right there. That's a, that's like multiple times cheaper in every way. So there we go. Look at this freaking seaport. Ain't never seen a seaport like that in your life, have you, AJ? That's right. Top tier pro level seaports if you're on Tech Dive Gaming. Like that. Yeah. That'll add up very quickly. So let's put in. Did not mean to put that there. Come on, game, you're killing me. There's one, and then we'll do just a ship seaport. Get out of here. There we go. We did it, yay. All right, let's get this highway running out of here. I mean, kicking a nicotine addiction is probably a smart, smart decision to make. But kicking a pre-workout addiction, can't break that. That's a lifelong addiction. You just taste that sweet, sweet Bull knocks, you feel like going through your veins, you can't stop that. Game over. A lot of things are better than booze, AJ. Booze is a pretty trash tier vice to have. Yeah. There we go. We're getting there. 
266, kind of stalling out in the population. We need to build a big or a medium airport. There it is. It's pretty big. Mm. Put it there. I don't need to fit in there. But over here. You got a new girlfriend? You finally dump that one? Or is this a new, new one? No, this is the one that you, I read about in the texts. It's pretty exciting. It's almost perfect. Yeah. Nanny. Oops. So Annie's gone, you done with her? Or have you just replaced her with a new Annie? Growing city price for more juice. And it's almost time for me to cut out the stream. Yeah, if you don't like any of the same things, it's hard to have a solid relationship. It's, like it's okay to like like different things, but you know, having nothing in common, that'll that that'll sink it pretty quick. Seven p.m. Pacific, specific time. All right, let's build some. Nah, not nuclear. Let's build solar. We got money. Throw money at our problems. Hold shift to build more than one. No. Boo. Garbage game. Can't hold shift. Hey, that's awesome. That means that she's healthy and that you get to go climbing all the time, which is also a positive because climbing's pretty great. So. It's a net win, AJ. Good job. Proud of you. Oh. Allergic to dairy. Like, not just lactose intolerant, but completely allergic. So you can't, like, eat ice cream? Can you eat ice cream around her? Or will that make her mad? Or kill her? That's rough, man. I know, I mean, Cindy's lactose intolerant, but she just takes uh, lactate a lot. Like, she's about to go eat ice cream or something, she'll, like, pop, like, three lactate pills. And she'll be okay. She won't die. We won't kill her anyways, it just ruins her day. So that's okay. You can at least enjoy your food cravings that she can't have. Yep, that about shapes up the stream. Make pretty good progress in the city, though. 
are we at three million region wide maybe probably let's see yep we did it three million we did it now we just have to build up the rest of this whole area down here yeah see you man Ah, I'm stuck. Control. 